Steve, you're rolling? Right. I don't mean to interrupt, but you guys are... Mr. Chair, you ready? Whenever. Whenever you hit the gavel, we're, yeah. Ready? Good morning and welcome to this hearing of the City Council's Health Committee. I am pleased that we are joined by our colleagues on the Health Committee, Councilmember Powers, Councilmember Diaz, Councilmember Powers, Councilmember Amprey Samuel, and Councilmember Holden. I'm Mark Levine, Chair of the Committee. Oh, do you want to be acknowledged as well, Councilmember Yeager? All right, thank you. We're thrilled to have you here too. We are going to be voting today on a piece of legislation, Intro 1668, which will be an important advancement in our effort to get every person in the city access to primary medical care. This is an imperative coming out of this pandemic. And quickly I'll explain that this bill would ensure that every community of this city has a site where people who are uninsured can access the NYC care program. This is a program designed for people who are uninsured. Primarily it's people who are undocumented, but there are others as well. And it provides them a primary care home, a clinic, with a primary care doctor, a place to get their annual physical, a place to get checkups, preventative screenings, vaccinations, referrals to specialists. Uh, it's a program that has a, a, a helpline people can call, uh, access to pharmacy assistance. Uh, it is available on a sliding scale, regardless of ability to pay. It is available regardless of immigration status. But until now, it has not been available in every neighborhood because the program is only uh, offered out of health and hospital facilities, and we love the h, &H system. But there are many, many neighborhoods throughout this city that do not have an h, h facility. And we need to offer people in those communities an opportunity to get health care, primary care in their neighborhood by activating the amazing network of community health centers known as FQHCs. Just on this committee, I was chatting before, uh, in Brownsville, Councilmember Amprey Samuel has a community with no H&H &H facility, but a great FQHC. Her constituents there should be able to access NYC care from there. Councilmember Powers has Far Rockaways, again, another community where there's a significant number of uninsured people and uh, no H&H no &H facility, but again, a great FQHC there that could serve as the home for this program. Uh, and we can go on and on citing neighborhoods throughout the city, and this bill will solve that problem by requiring the city to bring in those community health centers into the NYC care program. So with that introduction, I think I'm going to pass it off to our committee clerk to call the roll for the vote. Mr. Martin, please. Yes, sir. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on health, proposed introduction 1668A. Chair Levine. Um, I'm going to be voting aye, and just, just very briefly, uh, I will be offering uh, extremely effusive praise of the people who made this happen in uh, the stated meeting, but uh, I don't know if he's in the room now, but I have to shout out Lewis Children Brown, who uh, worked over seven years to bring this bill across the finish line. Uh, it's just extraordinary what he's done. We certainly wouldn't be here today without his efforts. So uh, wherever you are, Lewis, thank you. And I will be voting aye. Ampri Samuel. 
Thank you so much, Chair, for all of your hard work on this bill. And as you said in your opening remarks, I am very excited to actually see this happen because I know that the people in the 41st Council District will really be able to benefit in addition to BMS, which is our FQHC. So thank you so much. And with that, I vote aye. Holden. I vote aye. Powers. Aye, and congratulations to the Chair, Chair Levine, for the passing this important bill. Diaz. Having, oh, thank you. I also vote aye, but also thank the committee for working on this. As a New York City gain free employed individual who did not have health care for several years and reached out to the city for medical coverage, I'm glad to be part of this process of moving this bill forward. Thank you all. The is aye. Brooks Powers. I also vote aye and commend the chair as well as the committee staff for working on this important bill. Um, Health care and access to quality health care is something that um, I have advocated for many years, especially in my community where we um, unfortunately do not have enough access to quality health care coverage. And I think what this bill sets out to do um, to be able to provide greater access is critical. And I look forward to working with you, Chair, um, in your role now as well as in your future role to be able to advocate for more services in my district, which include Rockaways, but also um, Rosedale, Laurelton, and Springfield Garden. So thank you so much. I vote aye. By a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Okay. All right. This is uh, going to conclude our committee meeting. Thank you so much, everybody.